Star Wars Season of the Force begins at Disneyland tomorrow. That and more on This Week in Disney. Hey everyone, it's Max, and welcome to This Week in Disney, where I give you all the Disney news from the past week. And there's so much Star Wars coming to the parks. It all starts tomorrow. Here in Disneyland, the Season of the Force officially kicks off December 16th. I've talked about it before, what it's going to be, but in case you don't know, here's a quick rundown. We've got the Star Wars launch bay. Tons of Star Wars meet and greets, items from the movies, props, all sorts of memorabilia, merchandise, gonna be crazy. We've also got Path of the Jedi at the Tomorrowland Theater. This is going to be a 10 minute montage of scenes from all the Star Wars movies and a uh, little recut Star Wars Force Awakens trailer. Very exciting. What I'm most excited about is Hyperspace Mountain. That is the Star Wars overlay of Space Mountain. I cannot wait to ride it, and you can be sure I will let you know how that is. Star Tours is going to have some new Force Awakens experiences. And finally, the Tomorrowland Terrace, uh, it's a food place, is going to become the Galactic Grill. So there will be Star Wars food items you can get. Uh, I will definitely be going to Disneyland very soon so that I can show you guys all of this. Now at Disney World, you guys are getting it too. It's coming December 1st to Hollywood Studios. Unfortunately, they did announce that Star Wars weekends are gone forever. Um, sad because this was a really a big highlight for many people, but it'll be replaced with Star Wars Land, which you'll have every day. So, good and bad trade-off. I this is mostly good trade-off because you get Star Wars every day, so. In other news, who saw the Finding Dory teaser trailer? Oh man, right, all oh, the feels. Ah, can't wait for this one. 2016, uh, it'll be here soon. Finding Dory, so excited. Next, a new shop has opened up at Disney Springs and also online. It's called 28 in Maine, and this is a new boutique for men, for that Disney-loving man in your life. Hmm, Christmas is coming. Hmm. <laughs> the stuff looks really cool. Like, uh, I think I might want some of that stuff. I think it's more distinguished. Yeah, I like it. The distinguished Disney gentleman. And finally, we will say goodbye to Captain EO for the last time. Of course, Captain EO is such a classic, Michael Jackson, and they brought it back after his death. And uh, it, for me, I love going and seeing it. Uh, Captain EO is a true, true classic. December 6th will be its final time in Epcot at the Magic Eye Theater, so if you are there, go see it for me, because I love me some cats and EO. You're just another part of me. <laughs> It'll be replaced by a new Disney and Pixar short film festival, which will include a look into the visionary minds behind some of the world's most iconic animated films. There's all the news from this past week. Obviously, a lot of Star Wars. I'll be going to Disneyland. I'll let you guys know how it all is. Well, there you go. What do you guys think? What are you most excited about with all the new Star Wars experiences? For me, it's Hyperspace Mountain. Can't wait to ride it. I'll see you next time on This Week in Disney. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye.